movies or whatever movie is being talked about. I saw off Top Gun and Miles Teller has mad fucking Shia LaBeouf vibes. I don't like that guy. So, anyways. You don't like Shia LaBeouf? I don't like either one. Dude, big, big, uh, I don't know if inspiration is the right word, but big influence on me wanting to make people laugh was, what was his character? Evan? No. On Even Stevens. Lewis. Lewis Stevens. Big part of me wanting to be a comedic actor and, and performer was was that character. So Matt Walsh claims he has the most talked about movie of the year, and it's called What the Fuck, Wind. Why are you trying to cancel us, Wind? That's a long title for a movie. No, it's called What is a Woman. Now I don't know what it's about. I just assume that it's Matt Walsh. Given his, given like his, the crowd he hangs out with, the Daily Wire crowd, I'm assuming it's a movie where he is trying to discover whether or not the vagina is a mythological creature. How do you know? Like, how do I know? How do I know that's not CGI? <laughs> He's got a voice. By the way, tell me if this voice is fake. <laughs> You remember the fucking president podcast when um, they were talking about Nancy Reagan taught a bunch of people on how to how to make their voices raspier? Yeah. By forcing herself to um, vomit. Yeah. Okay. Well, this guy just kind of reminds me of this. So he's so he's doing a video. He's reviewing comedy, feminist comedy. Now, and I had to go searching through a real comedian. He's cheating because he's picking people like Hannah Gadsby. And I had to go, no Maria Bamford, no Sarah Silverman, no Roseanne, no, because, listen, I'm going by the dictionary definition of a feminist, so I'm just assuming any woman who does comedy is automatically, by definition, a feminist. Yeah. I mean, if you're really going to, by its I can agree with literal that. definition. But he picked, so the closest to an actual comedian he had the balls to review was Ali Wong. And she's talking about why she has an elderly woman to be her nanny. Because the whole show, her whole comedy show is about being pregnant. So this is him reviewing her comedy. Your marriage is very vulnerable and easy for an outsider to invade and colonize. <laughs> if we had hired a 25-year-old man who was not ugly, with my daughter and said yes immediately to every chore I asked him to do with a positive attitude. <laughs> Motherfucker. Wait. Motherfucker! One simple but brilliant trick to cool your home in 90 seconds. Time it kind of sounded like Simon Cowell at first. What did? That, the voice. Okay. Of the ad. I'm going to do the bit for her. Censored by YouTube ads and the wind so far. They're trying to shut us down because they're afraid that we're dropping truth bombs on this show. If I had hired a nanny who was <laughs> not ugly. So is the bit is the bit, the bit like is her bit husband. I'd have ate his butthole. No, the bit is I, they hired an elderly nanny. Like, why would you hire a hot nanny? Oh, okay. And if I, because, and she's saying, I understand why guys fuck their nanny, because if I had a male nanny, right, yeah, who's that's young, what I'm hot, saying. did anything yeah, I wanted to, yeah, that's she would, I, yeah. she would. Believe that I would eat the shit out of his butthole. <laughs> yeah, I would eat the shit out of his butthole. That's a fun term. So I'm glad we could hear this. Well, glad is a strong word. Maybe it's a wrong word. Sexy More, too. um, I think you're about one step away from cutting your f***ing hair off. Repulsed, probably is what I'm going for. Wishing that I had woken up this morning with catastrophic hearing loss, so I wouldn't have had to hear any of that. There's probably more of them feeling. But since we're here, this is a learning opportunity, and this is exactly why so many female comedians are, frankly, really, really terrible. It's because they're so impressed with their own vulgarity, right? They're so impressed with the fact. 
that uh, that they can say bad words, and and so what? they think the audience. <laughs> That's why Andrew Dice Clay never makes anyone laugh, because he's so impressed. vulgar, w impressed with his own vulgarity. What's funny is he uh, was shitting on SNL, which is fine. I shit on SNL sucks. But he said SNL hasn't been funny for 20 years, but Bill Hader was on like eight years ago, but whatever. Yeah. So so he goes, uh, and he goes, and he's playing this shitty fucking sketch, some shitty Kate McKinnon sketch, and he goes, problem with comedy is it's supposed to challenge boundaries. It's supposed to be edgy with his fake Alex Jones voice. It's supposed to be edgy. By the way, dude, all the fucking people with shitty voices on this fucking, in this medium... Anybody that says that they're a comedian that pushes boundaries is an awful person. Yes. And deserves to be, be put slapped. into an institution. Yes. And told that you're taking yourself too seriously. Anybody who says that, I grab even, Will Smith and go him. Yeah, push the boundaries is, yeah, that shit Shut annoys up. the fuck out of me. Shut up, George Carlin. We're talking about you, George Carlin. <laughs> <laughs> not the not the other George Carlin, the dentist in Wyoming. We're not talking about him. You're cool, dude. Anyways, he has the worst voice in fucking YouTube. I'm sorry. I don't care about how much how annoying Ben Shapiro and Tim Pool are. That's the worst <laughs> voice. I'd rather hear myself scream why as my own daughter is stabbing me to death than <laughs> listen to this for longer than five minutes. But anyways. He said the exact opposite of what he's saying right now. First, women can't, women have to push the boundaries, but they play it safe. Now, they go too far. And they're proud of it. And they're proud of Look it. Look at her smug little face after she's talking she about says something I would say. <laughs> is just going to laugh at the vulgarity itself, and ju just for its own sake. Unfortunately, no. as this audience proves, some people, especially those with IQs we uh, around the same Lord. vicinity. Oh, what that? Say that again. Uh, instead of Edge Lord, we should we should start doing Vulg Lord comedy. Vulg Lord, and it's just you curse so <laughs> much. Dude. We should just have a mic called Edge Lord comedy, and then just What's have, already us, have us dressed in like robes and shit <laughs> that's too much with staffs that's too much for an open mic that's too much no but then they show up it's just a normal open mic yeah i know but i can't get it's the same people at every other open mic yeah they're just like oh, okay yeah and also that dive bar already exists and like <laughs> it's hard to get past there's something about that fucking room and it's just like this is the only way people will care dude <laughs> as say you know a small woodland creature like squirrel level iq people they actually will laugh at the very fact that a woman said it uh, said something dirty you know that lady said naughty word me laugh it funny <laughs> naughty word funny like that's that's the, the the thought process for the morons in the audience there but for the more discerning comedy audience that's not enough of a punch Mark those words. The most, the more discerning comedy audience, such as himself. And then we'll listen to what he says. This is amazing. We need you to actually say something that is funny. We need the vulgarity in a funny context. And the sad thing is, in this case, she was actually setting up, maybe, it's like she was getting ready, maybe, to, to say something funny and poignant. But at the very last moment, right on the cusp, of almost saying something clever and witty, she veered right into a butthole. And uh, with yes, she was over here, and she was making you look at this hand. Uh, yeah, it's and then all strange. of a sudden, she opened this hand. The coin was in this hand. So is he, he literally just described a joke? Yeah, no, that's <laughs> yeah. She she bait and switched. The, but is he is he saying that her chance to say something clever and witty is the joke that the whole audience assumed which was that she would fuck him and and like yeah i know i don't even follow that part. yeah i don't I because don't. actually she didn't really veer off that far 
Exactly. That's what I thought. It was kind of just like funny to specify the act rather than just say I'd fuck him. But you I just think I mean? it's funny that 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 he just no, described that's a, joke. a joke. Yeah, she's she set up and then she did a punchline. He what literally else? described misdirection. I'm going this direction, and then all of a sudden, boom! I say this. The weird thing though is that. He said the her having the opportunity to say something clever and witty. Him saying that it's like, if you're assuming what the punchline is going to be, then that's not that clever and witty. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're not supposed to see punchlines coming. Yeah, exactly. Here's the other fucking problem.